Hello, and welcome to this 0 AD Empire's Ascendant. Today, I will be showing... Whoop, that's the wrong thing. Today, I will be showing and giving somewhat of a commentary on a game between DS26 and Alistair, being myself, on the English Channel map. Now we are both new players to the game, so don't expect anything great. Wait, what have I done here? What have I... Oh, hold on. No, that's not what I want. <laughs> wow, this is awful. Okay, so he still hasn't started building his ladies. Whereas mine are about to come out. As he just starts building his. I build too many horses. I should have maybe just built the one horse. Because of the 50 wood. And maybe not even straight away. Because there is not... Well, actually you can. But not the second one. Your next lot has to be ladies. Because you don't have the uh, wood afterwards to get the population up. Yeah, because then I realize I don't have enough population cap, so I build ladies and spear spearmen. They also cost wood, so my wood just gets annihilated. It was a very not a good start. My speed in building units and moving my ladies to the places and such things as that was counteracted and nullified, in fact, by my poor decision making in doing that. Interesting. Makes a lot of shield bearers. Hmm. He is able to gather that wood faster. Okay. Just starting to build this house now. So I am going to bump up the speed because, yeah, otherwise it'll take a very long time. getting his second house up using all of his ladies to do it I think you only what I've heard is that the optimum amount is three three workers for a building he's going to do some scouting whereas I'm just using them for food I do have one scout going up actually that's very interesting the timing on our scouts was very similar Although he's only scattered down to here. Do my scouts have a greater vision range or something? Or oh, he just hasn't put them in the right spots? I definitely can see a lot more of the ocean. Uh, it's a channel. <laughs> the the English channel or whatever it's called. They're like a river. Similar to a river or a 
Yeah, I think river is the middle point. A, str a stream is a small river and a channel is a large river. I'll have to look that up. Still not a great deal happening. Or if there is, I don't have the commentating skills to be able to tell you what it is. Building a second storehouse. Now, my, this first storehouse was very far away from the tree. No, that's a, not a storehouse. It's a berries thing. I still haven't built any kind of storehouse. Hmm. For some reason, I consider them unnecessary, although they are necessary. I haven't mentioned the civilizations. Probably because I don't know what, what they are. I am playing as the Carthaginians, whereas DS26 is playing as some Egyptian kind of thing. No, wait. Oh. Ah. Uh, not Kushites. Persians. He's playing as the Persians. Some kind of, some kind of Egypt, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Persia is where uh, Iraq or Iran, Iran is now, isn't it? Isn't Persia Iran? Wait, Kush is Iran as well, a little bit, as far as I remember. That said something about Iran in the yeah. Uh, Yeah, in what is now Iran. It said that in the Kushite Civilization Overview. I should know. I re <laughs> practiced reading it out four or five times before I made that video. Going heavy into farms now. Got some men building farms. I hope he doesn't keep men on the farms. They're much more efficient at chopping trees and such. From what I've heard, I still haven't built my farms because I realize I don't need farms. Like, I've got this wicker baskets upgrade and there is still so many berries on the map. I do not even a little bit need farms yet. Whereas he has used all his food, his population's nothing. He's got a lot of wood, but I mean... What do you do with it? What do you do with all that wood? I mean, what do I do with all this food? I had too many ladies already. My feminization ratio was very feminized. What am I doing? Let's see. Nothing currently. <laughs> or I was doing something that isn't doesn't register in the replays. What's this? What is he doing? Building a storehouse. There, for some reason. He should have built it here. Why is he building it there? I mean, I guess these trees there, but... I should have put it here. Closer. Closer to the trees and closer to more of them. Berries down here. He has reached the town phase. Whereas I think I would probably have done that a while ago. A minute earlier. Now is when I start to mass my farms. Oh, I should... Wait, hold on.
Wait, what? Stop, stop. Stop, stop. Right, that's what I should do. Yeah, I always get, try and select five like that for a while, whereas I should just be four, five. <laughs> if I'm more precise about it and not trying to be too fast my population is absurd at this point so is my food I'm just researching all the upgrades as well we're not too far off in terms of buildings I mean, his current capacity is 10 greater than mine, so I guess he has one more. Having a drink. His horses. Oh yeah, so there is a bug in the game, or maybe by design, perhaps, where... Is he putting it in the storehouse over here? Where he just goes hands on these storehouses. I really don't know about that. I mean... Hmm. Anyway, there's a bug where... It's either, either by design or a bug where in the replays the music doesn't play. Or it plays one song and then stops. It might be due to replays or it might be due to alt tabbing. I think or both maybe have a problem there. Yeah, these men. Wait, is, is there a man there? What? Oh, they're... Okay. I thought they didn't have shirts on. I thought they were shirtless men. But it was just skin colored clothing. Well, almost. Kind of brown, orangey. So, to. Hmm, not counteract. To. Oh, compensate? No. To. Hmm. Work around. That's, a, that's one, that's a single word. As a workaround, I <laughs> have uh, downloaded the Zero AD soundtrack from playzeroad.com. You click on music up there in the top or something. And I'm, I'm playing it in a external media player, SM player, in fact. My media player of choice. SM player is really good. You might, like... <laughs> For me, I needed certain features or easy access to features that other media players couldn't do, or the documentation didn't wasn't adequate to teach me how to do them. Whereas SM Player was very good, very good. His horse is still just drinking. Wow, I just made a lot of men. I've decided it's time to mine. I don't have a lot to mine. I guess I kind of do. One, two, three, four, five, five. Oop, five. He had one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow! What? <laughs> That's not fair! Oh dear. I mean, randomization to a certain point, like, randomize the map and, like, the rivers and all this. And pick a random number, sure, between five and ten for the resources, but give us both the same amount 
<laughs> Randomization would be really hard to uh, code. Pseudo randomization, I should say. Without a uh, entropic source of information, it can't be true randomness. I'm not quite sure how that all works, but I know that there's something something along those lines. It's like there's a security place where together to gather their entropic information, they have a webcam taking continuous 24-7 video footage of a, like a whole wall full of lava lamps because they're, that's pretty entropic, like the heat and just random, a whole bunch of quantum stuff going on. It's just crazy. And all sorts of randomness. A computer can't, yeah, generate a random number. It can pretend it is. It can pretend to generate a random number. And as far as a human can see, like, it seems pretty random. It seems, seems random enough. It's not. It's really not random at all. Ah, yes, he has started to do that. So, wait, did he start off with docks as well? I think he made, or did he build them really early? They are, they do have his design. Hmm. He built docks early, he didn't, uh, he must have used this one too. And another dock down here. Has not touched this yet. He knows about it, he just hasn't done anything about it. I'm now getting fairly well established. Got my second base going now. Yeah, things start to happen now. Not really, but just... <laughs> I thought I was like, what? I've lost the game? No, it's the soundtrack. Just to explain a few things and slow it down a little. Ah, uh, yes. This. Check that thing out. It's huge. With a regular shipyard, you can only build a ship that's capable of carrying, what is it, 20 or 30 at a time. The Talat Masot. What language is this one again? Greekish, so I don't know. Uh, Greekish. Ah <laughs> oh dear. And um, uh, a Mas a kink uh, kinkarim. I can say those better. <laughs> yes, there's a birem, a trireme, and a quinkarim or kinkarim, quinkarim. Because four. <laughs> because there's four of them. What is he doing here? I don't remember this. I guess he attacked me over here? It wouldn't have been very effective. Does he see what I have and then decide not to? No, he's just... Ah! He's looking for somewhere to build a base. <laughs> Uh, he sees this line here, and he sees this and this. He wants to build a base, this fella. How do you auto-follow on a unit? Whatever. Oh, and not only do I not get so many of them, he actually expands over to here before I get the chance to. I'm busy expanding to all these other segments. He has two segments to deal with. And you can walk to them. Like, I mean, I can walk to these, but they're extra segments and I can't walk here. This map didn't really didn't turn out for me very well at all. I didn't realize how bad, how unevenly matched this, this was. 
but I lost about five or six games in a row to Cav Rushing, and I don't play Cav Rushing, I play Zero AD, you know, the game where you build a bunch of units and have battles and strategy and, you know, just, you know, real time, real, just, you know, a real time, you know, kind of a strategy game played in real time, like, you know, like a real time strategy game. Um, <laughs> look, you can have your cab rushes and that's fine. Like, I'm just, it's fun, I'm sure. I've never done it. I've done, I probably, I don't even think I Zerg rushed when I played SC2. I played Emergency Protoss. Um, yeah, rushing, <laughs> I never was, I love building bases and things. That's just my thing. At first I was thinking there should be a separate multiplayer for specifically for people who want to do that and people who don't people who have right like it's similar to i think there was a thing in dota where techies players would play against each other just like toxic players would play against each other they would be matched the matchmaking system would put them with each other they <laughs> Uh, the uh, amount of players in Zero AD isn't enough to warrant a matchmaking system, but yeah. Where I did say at first, I'm pretty sure I did say at first, I thought there should be a separate section. But then I realised, wait, what if I just put a big river, a big ocean in between us both? What if I host the uh, host the game? Make the, uh, which uh, generally works out better. I don't have any, uh, people saying that their ping is bad or that my ping is bad kind of thing. Uh, yeah. Host the game myself. Make it on a river map so that you ca just can't cav rush me. You can't do it. Then, you know, there was a video by Tom Zero AD slash superfly tom slash oh he's got another another name <laughs> in the other forum or whatever man of many man of many faces had a video where he a multiplayer analysis video against a player known as mad cav and he had a sick little um edited together segment at the beginning of of the video of cav rushes just or just cavalry in general just rah, cavalry everywhere and it was horrifying <laughs> it was you know it was just oh, not horrifying nightmare inducing or memory inducing bad memories Of getting calved, getting mad calved. So what is it? So he's on. Yeah, he's fallen so far behind in each and every single way. He's got more wood than I do. Yes, I'm starting to do some bartering because I just don't have enough metal on the map in general for me to get. I mean, I could, I've got mm, 3,000 here. Actually, there is quite a bit. There's none here. But yeah, 3,000. You can only put 24 on at a time, you see, really. Um, mm, getting metal, <laughs> so difficult. I, I bet he's just got metal for days left over just everywhere. And it's stone. These are all stone. Actually, he did just have mostly stone, didn't he? <laughs> he had some metal here. And the rest of it is stone. Did he have another metal mine available at the beginning and he just mined it out just like I had? Don't know. 
shit, no. But, look at- this is absurd. All these- <laughs> I held off from mentioning earlier because I didn't want to give it away. What it was going to happen. Which, I mean, doesn't really give it much away. It just gives away that I got more wood. More easily. But when I was mentioning about the storehouses and saying, Oh, hmm, don't know about that. I refrained from saying the next part of that paragraph, which was because he doesn't use them. He doesn't get barely any of his wood. Like, I don't have any more wood left. I have one, two, four, five, six, seven. Some of these are food as well. Yeah. Not many. I'm not going to count all those. Look at these copses of trees everywhere. I'm not sure how many trees you need before it's officially <laughs> a copse or whatever, but uh, a copse is like a bunch of trees. C O P S E. It's like a grove or a. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. So where does he build these ch Yeah, okay. So they've got a separate stables for that. Oh, and they don't cost much either. Man. Hmm. Those things are... overpowered or something. They can attack. Wow, their ranged attack is very damaging, and they can do it very often. Yeah, that's OP! <laughs> and they're intimidating! <laughs> like, coconuts... This is terrible, I lose just everything. <laughs> It's just... this is just terrible. I even lost that, I didn't... I just went and started doing other things. You can't... you cannot siege a fortress with men. Yeah, as it happens. Alright. Half an hour into the game. We're almost halfway, it's a one hour and nine minute game and we're starting to see some action here now it's it's happening there's it's all going on now takes over the dock that's fine I've filled this up so he's not getting that he would have to destroy it. Move my trade route from there to here. Where's that lady trying to take that wood? <laughs> what is she doing? <laughs> so he tries taking it over and that's just not happening. He would need to surround it entirely. I'm getting ready. I've built one elephant. I think he's the super one. But just units. I don't... I make all these useless units. That don't really do much of anything. You really do need to do things like this. Build a separate building to make your units from. Like I could have made... I don't know actually. Is there another building? Ah, the mercenaries. 
I didn't, yeah, I didn't build any of those at all. Those are the, yeah, okay. Free civilization, in order to really get something going, you need to build their special stuff, not just a, a barracks or a fortress. Sometimes the fortress can do some things, but yeah, there's often a special building. I thought, these are useless, I'm not building those. I'll build literally everything else and not that. Let's see how that turned out. Well, I mean... <laughs> so I've got... What have I got here? Not much. Put it back to regular. Yes, there are so many units moving around the place now that it starts to get a little... A little lagged out, but not too bad. The connection didn't do anything. Just this. <laughs> It's kind of a little glitchiness. If you zoomed out anyway. Although if I didn't... It's a little better. If you can't see as much on the screen, it's a little, a little smoother. Appropriate music, battle music. Isn't there a battle happening soon? I think I missed a battle over here. But mm, there was a bat. Maybe it's about to happen. He uses. Ah, here they are. Yeah, he builds another ten of these because they're overpowered as heck. Oh, you don't want to build that. You want to build that. All cav t plus twenty percent health. White. How much health did they start with? A hundred. Is that good? What do other horses have? Hundred and sixty. That's for a super one though. Hmm. Oops. That looked cool though. <laughs> That's a nice angle, seeing the ocean as well. Wow, I can see everything <laughs> from here. <laughs> His horse is literally just still there. <laughs> Literally. Oh, and he has these as well. Yeah. Hmm. I don't have anything that can quickly take them down. Sword Cav is good. But what's the best is somebody like one of these fellas. Their attack is just... Overwhelming. Man, that channel just looks incredible in 4K resolution from this angle. There's so much detail. <laughs> oh, it's just full of detail. Making my it's this is actually taxing out my GPU, I think. Although um Zero AD is not super efficient at using all of my GPU. He's getting ready. I was going to do something, but then I got distracted with the camera. Oh, 
What's happening? There is a war sound, but I don't know where the war is. Oh, if I got my war up here, yeah. I brought a small set of units over and didn't really do much with them. And how long was he setting up with for that for? Did I know? No, I just didn't see it. <laughs> I don't build any kind of sentries or anything like that. But he can't see anything either. He can see most everything on his own map though. Yes, that doesn't turn out well for me at all. But three elephants might help the situation out a little. Look at this though, this is so hectic. I mean, this is zero AD here. Not cab rushes, but epic. Just look at it. <laughs> look at all the stuff going on. Uh, there's just, there's naval battles, there's collecting stuff, there's units of each and every different type. This guy is just, I didn't micro my elephants, so I just decided, oh, I'm just going to destroy this one. I don't like it, it's going away. It didn't even have anybody in it. <laughs> I could easily have taken it over. I do, I wasn't thinking at all. He's building another dock. Oh, his other one got destroyed somehow. Or oh, he destroyed it. What? I don't know. What's going on here? What am I doing here? Just putting putting 50 guys there. Just here we go. What was the point of that? This is not really happening anymore. I'm not. My, I'm doing something else at this point. Probably dealing with this. Look at the intenseness of this. Just look at it. This, oh, this was so fun. That like regardless of the outcome, a game like this is always very fun. This is just ridiculous. What's happening here? I needed to have my- oh, these horses just wrecking my elephants. I needed to have microed my elephants onto the- those units, or just away from the- oh, the horses. Ugh. Even if I had have microed these 63 guys just to attack the horses, that would have done heaps. Well, meanwhile, I've- done a few things over here. My horses went down, but... Eh. I did some things. I destroyed a lot of units, I think. Population's about the same. Destroy that boat. I wonder if that boat had anybody on it. I think it may have, you know. Oh no. That was just units here that were dying. This is still just happening. 
Oh, I've collected one of these here. Or I'm about to, or what am I doing? I'm pretty sure I, could, I'm pretty sure I got that in the end. Yeah, I put some fellas in there. All right. Oh, it's all just. I'm just gonna slow this down a little because there's just so much epicness going on. They didn't make uh, any hero units, really. So I've got Cav, but my Cav are ranged. They're ranged Cav. I don't think this civilization even has melee Cav. Or just the one, the hero unit. Oh, no. Mercenaries. Bleh. I just mean, I just think, oh, Cav, Cav beats Siege. No, no, it's it's melee Cav. <laughs> Not just any Cav every day, just whatever. I'm just getting pummeled here. I'll set it back to the default angle because moving that around too much confuses me. <laughs> may confuse you also. I mean, I do have enough horses now to destroy these things, but... <sighs> they just don't go down to range. They just don't go down to ranged attacks. Things are looking a little bad. I... <laughs> At this point, I keep have I've set the rally point of this here, but the, the boats keep coming out over here, and I have to constantly grab the boat and put it in there, and then put it out again. And oh, oh, so annoying. Taking down the fortress. I hmm. The end of this game is That's something. It exists. Now these guys have got nowhere to go to. Hmm. <laughs> it's uh I, yeah, I was, <laughs> I should have microed my horses onto the individual units and not these things. I could just, it wasn't going to happen. Just all range, all, everything I have is range. Now that's starting to go down. I mean, I have this, that's, that's something, right? Got a boat. Hound sand is about to go down. So now it's looking a little bad. My population's still the same. I've got my ladies alive and I've got... Well... I don't know. My ladies are alive. Oh, and these guys. I have these units. But my resources are are looking pretty good. All that food at least. Been much yeah, by getting metal from food. I had I ended up with almost every tree. He had all these trees left over. 
What's this? It's it's bad. They ended up going down in the end to these things. The siege catapult helped do most of that, I think. But yes, it's not it's not so good right now. Build up another fortress just to try and just a last ditch effort to try and get some units out. I just, mm. I mean, I, I still have many, many houses to be able to build more units with. So that's something. I'm getting attacked over here. I'm getting attacked over here. But I have these fully upgraded, except for our uh, so dirty foundations. So it's not too bad. He hasn't any upgrades anywhere. I have every upgrade everywhere. I got them all. I got all of the upgrades, except for that one. No, just ones that I wasn't going to use, basically. I purchased all of the upgrades. <laughs> okay, I've got some units coming out. No. It really is not looking great. I've built another market just so I can get that extra income in. I haven't really been focusing on what much of what he's been doing. He's just been wrecking me, that's what he's been doing. <laughs> just destroying. Oh, he has another... Provincial Governor. Huh. Interesting. So he's got his Provincial Governor... Buildings... Happening. He's probably building something. No. He has no metal. Neither do I. <laughs> I've had to use all my food to get metal. Tower's still alive. My tower has extra range. Slowly taking down that tower. Oh, here we go. What have I got? Just more horses. <laughs> more horses. More ranged units. I do have this uh, siege catapult, which is, which is good. Siege catapults do too much splash damage, though. It's not great. So... Is he going to build any more units? I guess just no wood. I guess he gets Ivory Barters or something. Yeah, he hasn't bartered yet. Hmm. One hand center. And he has two. Taking a little attack force over. But yes, as I say, it's just it's just ranged units. It isn't really going to do a lot. A lot. 
not a lot. <laughs> In fact, I can bump this up. Let's bump. Get some bumping happening. Oop, I have made... Yes. To try and get rid of siege. Their inevitable extra battering rams and such. Ah, oh, they've still got units on boats and units everywhere. What's my, what is my boat doing? Yeah, filled, he's filled that one up. Yeah, he starts bartering. Bartering his food out for more metal. To buy the last little overwhelming force that he needed. Oh, that's empty. I could have taken it over. I could have taken all of these. He would never have garrisoned them in time. Just have a few, just a few fellas just there, just sitting there. Hmm. Elephants. Elephants are good. But, yeah. I have one DC and he has two. That's the only problem. And his thing, he's got and more chariots. That's right. Yeah, he just pumps it. Yeah, and then even more. <laughs> just chariots for days. I got ranged horses and I got my elephants, but... Yes, it's, uh, it's not looking good. It is not looking good. So the thing is, is he, he can't see this at all. He can't, he can't see that happening, so he can't really prepare for it so much. So I get, I do get some damage done. I'm doing some bartering as well. I'm just running out of wood as well, I guess. It's bartering time. We're just running out of resources. I mean, he hasn't run out of resources. He's still got all this food, trees, wood, stone. He didn't have a trade route established through this entire time. He had multiple markets, but no trade. Trade is good. <laughs> trade is good. Just one boat just ferrying back and forth. Just 50 at a time. I actually have probably quite a few more units than him at this point. Yes, I do. Alright. He's got even, even more of those come out. His entire unit composition is just chariots. Battering those little last scraps of metal. Oh, here he comes. Boom, here it is. 
just the just the distraction force. So I decide also it's time for the destruction force. Things start happening very quickly now. Okay. So these guys are just not really doing much. These guys are taking over my catapult to use the I yeah. I'm still not certain if... Oh. What's this? He's got no units in there. Hasn't even rung the town bell. He's probably got enough units to put into there. I mean... He could fill the thing up with units. I would have quite a great difficulty taking it over, but it seems that he... He's busy, busy microing his units over here. Hmm. It's interesting that that happens. Looks like I might even take this town center here. Oh no. That's, that's problematic. There is only the one town centre left. But now there's two. So, uh... Chariots, eh? You could do some things with chariots. Like, take my completely undefended and ungarrisoned town centre that is sitting in the middle of nowhere and he doesn't see. Because I placed it right on the very edge. Oh my god, I can't believe that. <laughs> wow, I didn't know that. Interesting. So what I've done now is I've set my last remaining uh, this, I've set that to a control group. And it's uh, I'm ready to delete it as soon as this guy starts to try and taking it over. Does he, he even has a town center over here as well, so that's something. And he still, of course, has this one. My elephants are destroying a few things. I think he's getting a few units out here. And yes, this town center is keeping all of these as part of it. <laughs> the way that territory works is very odd. I don't quite understand. Oh, and he's got some horses coming out to do something, I guess. He is destroying buildings, taking over buildings. Oh, he's got, he's got one. Looks like he's going to get these two. Oh, 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 what's this? I've micromanaged all of my, my elephants over to his town center. Oh no, that's not going to be good for him. If I destroy that, he's only going to have this one. <laughs> And all of these, he's going to have to destroy all of his buildings before I, before I get them. But I'm sure he's not going to forget to do that. Reverting to Gaia. He's got this one and this one. He hasn't garrisoned anyone in here, so he has to constantly fill it up. Can you garrison people in barracks? I don't know.
so yes, he at this point has no idea, like, <laughs> he must be thinking, where's his town center? What's happening? <laughs> oh wait, where's my town center? It's gone. Both of them. And his buildings, I've forgotten. Oh no, it seems it's like <laughs> he didn't delete them in time and they're all mine now, all of them. Oh, now I have this side of the map too. I can take all of this wood and, and rocks. At this point of the game, you know who won. <laughs> At this point, I noticed that these are all mine, so I have this side. I have this side of the island. So now I'm checking back to this constantly. Constantly just checking, 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 checking. Is it there? Is it there? What's going on? What's happening? Blah, blah, blah. Does that show up when I when I do that? When I keep checking? <laughs> yeah, I keep going and double tapping one to go back and look. He actually got quite a few. Yeah, there it is. I destroy I just destroy everything. I I figure okay, I have this side of the map. I'll destroy everything that I have left. Which wasn't too much in the end, but... Destroy that. I think there's something... I'll destroy some more things. Back over here. Oop, yep. Houses. Oop, yep, no. Oh, you're not taking my wonder, you're not taking my any of this, you're not taking my fortress. Nope, 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 nope. That's my fort. Nope, no, nope, that's my market. You know, you, can, you can't have my market. So, he's got nothing. He's got no units, he's got no resources. He's, he's got a TC over here, but what do you do? So. Yeah. Might as well speed it up, he just has these units here. I have all a lot of food, wood... He's got a lot of stone. He could have done something with that. But he has no units. It was showing my mouse clicks then, it doesn't usually do that. Does it usually do that? <laughs> it was showing my mouse clicks. That's what it should do. Huh. Anyway. Maybe it does that normally and I... What am I building? A storehouse. <laughs> Oh yeah, sometimes it shows your mouse clicks. Nobody on those. That one's got some people on it. And he still has... <laughs> He's just perpetually having to keep control of them, or otherwise they will just revert to Gaia eventually. I've filled this up because I want to go up here and destroy those.
Boom. Alright, so he's given up on these. These can just go to Gaia now. That's... he can't really do much about it. So he's got no... he's got these buildings left. That's right. And that's it. He's got this tiny, dumb little island that he decided to occupy. So like, what's that going to do for you? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> uh dude. He played well. Like, I'm not bagging him at all. We're both new players to the game, and I... cheesed the game a little in the end. A little bit of cheese. It's annoying when you try and put garrison units into boats, they won't stop moving. <laughs> and you can't, you can never get your units inside. Is this thing made of bricks? What? <laughs> That's weird. Oh, he's going down here and I'm going up here and just, oh. Does he have enough for a town center? He's got no, he hasn't got enough for anything. And he can't barter. Can he barter? I don't think so. Yes, and then that's, this is it. Last little engagement. He's unable to go and garrison his units, which doesn't work out well for him. But yeah, he gets one of my elephants. But yes, I've I have won. <laughs> I have won the game. Very, very fun. Tense game of Zero AD. Probably, probably the most, he's actually, yeah, quite easily the most fun multiplayer game of Zero AD that I have played. Yes. Fun times were had by all. Good game, well played. One hour, nine minutes, and thirty one seconds crazy crazy a crazy game hmm well I hope that was I hope that was fun to watch. I think it's fun to watch. It's fun to play. <laughs> anyway, I hope that you have a good one and peace. <laughs>